The Acer Ferris Moxon Vice Kit comes with two maple bench screws and two maple nuts. You'll need to provide the jaw material. The wood should be four inches wide and at least one and a half inches thick, and whatever length you need to provide the width capacity for your vise. I chose some one and a half inch thick maple to match the screws. I also chose to go with the dimensions provided in the instructions. Your first step will be to prepare the jaw stock. Jointers and other power tools will certainly make this job easier, but if you don't have those things, this can be done by hand. You will need to pay close attention to ensure that your jaws are square and true. Plane the faces so that they mate perfectly. You will want the faces to be parallel to each other for the best clamping strength. Once your jaws are prepared, mark the holes for the screws. The recommended placement is three inches from the edge and on the center line of the jaw at two inches. You will drill one and a half inch holes and they need to mate perfectly for the front and back jaws. A spade bit works well here. Once your holes are drilled, you may choose to chamfer the top corner of the front face. Dry assemble everything and make sure everything lines up. If all is well, line your screws with some cereal box cardboard. The directions say two layers. I only needed one. Spread some glue on one face of the nuts, being careful not to add too much, and avoid adding glue around the threaded hole. If there's too much, wipe some off before assembly. You don't want squeeze out going into the hole and gluing your screws in place. Tighten the screws into the nuts and allow the glue to dry. Once the glue is dry, remove the cardboard shim and plane the nuts flush with the top and bottom of the jaw face. You can then finish the faces as you see fit, but leave the inside of the jaws bare for best gripping. You can now clamp or use a hold fast to secure your vise to your workbench. Congratulations on finishing your Acer Ferris Toolworks Moxon Vice.